art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match we have Bobby playing 4 color control and he's going up against Gene with Celestia Aggro. Bobby was on the play and started off by playing a Steam Vents tapped, then Gene laid down a Temple Garden and passed it back. Bobby then went to 18 to put an Overgrown Tomb into play untapped, he then played a Farseek and found himself another Overgrown Tomb. Gene started his next turn by playing a Forest and then played not one but two Arbor Elves. Bobby used a Pillar of Flame on his turn to kill one of the Elves. Then Gene laid down a Plains and played a Loxidon Smiter. He then attacked with his elf that didn't die, dropping Bobby down to 17. Bobby used a Dreadbore on his next turn to kill the Smiter, then he followed it up by playing another Pillar of Flame to kill the other elf. He then played a Blood Crypt tapped before passing the turn. Gene just played Land Go and then Bobby laid down a Drowned Catacomb and passed it back. Gene then played a Sublime Archangel. Bobby used a Rakdos' Return on his next turn for 4, dropping Gene down to 16 and forcing him to discard his hand. Gene then played a Rancor on his Angel and attacked for 7, dropping Bobby down to 10 life. Bobby used a Mizium Mortars on his next turn to kill the Angel. He then played another Farseek and found himself another Blood Crypt. Gene just played Land Go on his next turn, then Bobby played a Rakdos Key Rune. Then Gene just played Draw Go, and then on Bobby's turn he resolved a Nicobolus Planeswalker. Bobby used the Nicobolus to destroy Gene's Temple Garden. Gene laid down a Sun Petal Grove on his next turn and played a Thalia Guardian of Thraben. Bobby then used his Nicobolus to destroy the Sun Petal Grove. He then resolved a Jace Architect of Thought and used his second ability, revealing a second Rakdos Key Rune, a Thrag Tusk, and another Steam Vents. Gene put the Thrag Tusk in a pile of its own, which Bobby decided to take and sent the other two to the bottom. Gene played another Loxen and Smiter on his turn and then attacked Bobby with his Thalia, which he took, going down to 8 life. Then on Bobby's turn, he was able to ultimate his Nicobolus, effectively destroying everything that Gene had on his side of the board. Gene then decided to scoop it up, giving Bobby the win, and taking them to game two. So that's it for this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and possibly add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online. 